The second puzzle most players encounter is making coffee. First, you need to find the three coffee items. One is here by the straws. There it is. The other two are on the other side of the cafe. They're going to be near Adela. One is right here. It's a recipe book. Mm. Mm. The other is down on the ground by the plant. Mm. Smells like coffee. When you find all three of these items, you can start making some coffee. Perfect. To make coffee, you have to follow the recipes in the recipe book, and it can be fairly confusing. For example, if I'm trying to make the Café Noisette, it says, use the same amount of coffee as in the latte. So then I have to go to the latte. It says, use the same amount of coffee in the dopio. So then I have to go over to the dopio. Here's a chart I made showing off the ingredients of all the coffees. There are 11 different coffees in total. Occasionally, you'll get some requests that are not in the recipe book. Like somebody will ask for a latte with extra caramel. So let me show off how we actually make coffee. You want to grab your coffee cup and move it over to the machine on the right. We have two spots on the machine. This one does water, while this one does coffee. A latte has two things of coffee, so I'm going to click this one, it has two. If I clicked on this, it'd be one, and if I clicked on this, it would be three. A latte also has steamed milk, and steamed milk has to be made separately. What you do is you take the milk and put it in the metal pitcher. It wants three servings of steamed milk. Then I move the, the milk to the machine and press this button to make it nice, hot, steamed milk. If it was a recipe that wanted cold milk, like the Sweet Sunrise, I'd just grab the milk and put it into the cup straight away. I wouldn't need to warm it up first. So the latte has two things of coffee, coffee, and then three things of steamed milk. That's done. If the person wanted vanilla, I would just grab it and drag it over. Same with hazelnut, caramel, sugar, and cold water. Once you're done making the recipe, you hit the serve button. Now lattes come with latte art. This is a fairly difficult challenge that a lot of people are having trouble with. What you need to do is click and move your mouse to fill in the picture design. You just want to fill everything. Like so. If you go outside of the lines like this. Oh no, this doesn't look right. The game will force you to start over again. Need to start from scratch. Now one thing you can do is just click and hold the mouse button to fill in the coffee instead of having to move your mouse around. That is a little bit safer, but it is a lot slower. So just do the little bit at a time, little bit at a time, little bit at a time. Uh, another recommendation is to back away from the coffee by pressing the escape button and then trying again. This gives you a new picture. Some of the picture designs are easier than others. Like this. This is a very easy one to do. Time to get creative. Sometimes Nancy says that, which means you can make your own coffee. There are no rules here. There, there's no picture. You can do a smiley face. You can do a frowny face. You can write whatever you want in the coffee. And that's very, very helpful. So if you're really struggling with the latte art, I would recommend just backing away from the latte art and trying again over and over and over until Nancy just gives you a free pass to write whatever you want in the coffee. 